What's going on guys? Welcome to the next Unity tutorial and by far this is probably going to be the quickest tutorial. All we're going to do is set up some stuff and actually end our game because right now some people will be like, oh whoa, what, what happened? I thought the game should end right now but maybe the ball might come back as a phoenix and destroy all the bricks. Well, we could have that happen but we aren't going to waste our time coding all that stuff. All we're going to do is add a simple game over uh, to our ball object script or ball script I should say not our object but let's open that guy up and what we're gonna do actually is if the ball is below a certain line and the Y position we're just gonna end the game so let's jump into our ball script create a new function that's gonna end our game so let's just name it game over uh, pretty pretty creative name there and within the game over function all we're gonna do for this tutorial like I said, it's going to be a pretty quick tutorial as we're going to refer to the application and then we're going to load the level of menu. So pretty simple. One line of code. That's all we're going to do. But this game over function is never going to get called unless if our ball is, well, right now it's never going to get called. So we have to have a way that we're going to call this function and we're going to do that within the update method. We're going to relate to the transform of our ball. So we're going to say again, transform. Why do I always do that? Transform dot position dot y. And we're gonna say if the y position is less than, let's say negative 15, something like that. Depending on how big your game is or the size of, you know, your game screen, it's gonna depend on what you put here. Just mess around with it. Uh, and obviously, this has to be an if statement. We're, so we're gonna say if the y position is less than negative 15 no semicolon and what we're going to do is call our game over or not script meth uh, function alright so let's save this run our game and check it out so it looks like it went below the line and right there you already notice I, I, I was messing around and did something different but before we go into the menu screen and set that up for the next tutorial which is going to be pretty cool we are going to go to our build settings and make sure that your uh, your brick breaker game is in the build settings. So just say add current and it'll be added to there as well. All right, so now let's jump over to our menu scene and set up this new object. Let me delete it and just do it with you guys. So we're going to create a new game object and it's going to be a 3D text and let's scale this text down. So just R again and scale it down and we're going to go over to the position and say 000 and change the text from hello world to score zero let's move it down so again click in your game scene hit w move this guy down and maybe to the right something like that so as you can tell probably what we're going to do in the next tutorial is save our high score and then load our high score and and get that information and put it within this new uh, text object that we created. Also another thing, let's relabel this from new text to B score for brick breaker score. And that's it for this tutorial guys. Again I told you it's real quick. All we did is create a new game function that checks if the Y position is below a certain point. If it is, we're going to call that game over function. And in the next tutorial, we're going to save our high score within this game over function as well. So that's what you have to look forward to, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.